Hi, welcome. My name is Hunter Proven. I'm going to tell you why it's interesting that you are JL283, uh, why you should be interested about this. Um, uh, we don't know how JL283 migrated from West Asia to Europe in the Bronze Age. That's it. That's the main reason why this is such an interesting lineage. Other lineages, uh, it's pretty clear based on where everybody lives today uh, in the different branches or based on ancient DNA that has been found by scientists. Uh, in other lineages, it's really clear how, how they got from one place to another. In our lineage, it's not that clear. Um, we had a really long bottleneck that started in the Neolithic and ended uh, about uh, 3,700 BC. Uh, that means uh, our, our lineage was just one father to son line from the Neolithic to about 3,700 BC. Uh, on, um, and there weren't any other, there weren't any other branching points. We could have easily just died out if any one of those sons just didn't have any children. Um, so it's, it's really hard to know where a lineage may have been during uh, a bottleneck because there aren't any, any children lines where you can examine and compare where do all these different children live. There aren't any children for thousands of years. Uh, finally, uh, we do have some children. The first time that there is a, a lineage with two children uh, was after our ancestor already migrated to Europe. Uh, and um, uh, all we know is what you're looking at there is uh, the relative frequency heat map, uh, where in Europe more people are positive for our haplogroup uh, per person. And uh, the hot spots you see in Italy and the Balkans reflect the where we've actually found ancient DNA of uh, JL283. Uh, still, it's not it's not crystal clear uh, uh, where, how our ancestor migrated to this these areas of Italy or the Balkans, and it's not even clear exactly where he had migrated from. And that is because uh, now I'm going to show you. If you zoom in, this is the Y heat map which I designed um, with input from Thomas Kron. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see the individual samples. Uh, what you're seeing here is uh, the Caucasus, and this sample is an ancient sample that is negative for the mutation that's found in all the men that are that now live in Europe. Uh, so this guy from uh, Kabardino-Balkaria near Nalchik, he he was probably a remnant that didn't make it to, that his ancestors didn't go to Europe. They probably just stuck around from where the common ancestor was living. Uh, there's another sample here in Armenia uh, near Lake Sevan that dates to, uh, dates to 1100 BC. Uh, this sample has actually not confirmed basal JL-283 uh, but he is negative for Z600. Uh, so it's just a, it's, it's maybe he's actually basal JL283, maybe not. Uh, but then we have another guy that is an Armenian, a modern Armenian, uh, from what is now called Elazig, but uh, the, the town was called Harput. It was a fortress. Uh, in during the time of Urartu, uh, this was a fortress. Here's a map of Urartu, uh, and Harput is a little bit west of this lake that's all, kind of all the way in the west of uh, Urartu. Uh, that's the location of Harput. They created, they created a fortress there, uh, and you see Lake Sevan here. This is where the ancient sample traces uh, was found, and it's interesting that there's this connection uh, between two samples that are uh, likely both basal JL-283, uh, 
they're both associated somehow with either Armenia or Urartu. Uh, it's just not enough. It's not enough information to 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 go any deeper than that and say one or the other. Uh, but but uh, this is and this it shouldn't. It's not a huge surprise that that our ancient uh, ancestors may have been living in this area because this isn't far away from West Iran where um, where our more more distant cousins who are not JL-283, but where their ancient samples have been found dating to the Neolithic. It's all been in West Iran. Uh, the oldest samples are from West Iran. Uh, so uh, how did they get... Uh, oh, let's go back to the to the view uh, of Y heat map. Uh, so, so there's really three samples that I'm talking about here that make like a triangle. This is the ancient Kabardino Balkarian from 1800 BC. This is the sample from uh, Lake Sevan, 1100 BC. This is the modern Armenian. Uh, somehow, our ancestor, who was more like most likely living somewhere between these three points. Uh, migrated to Europe. And uh, I'm not going to go into the, the theories here, but uh, if you're JL-283 uh, and uh, you're not from Italy and you're not from the Balkans, uh, but you're from somewhere else in Europe, you, th there's other interesting things that for you. How did your ancestor get to the place where you trace your male line descent? Like, if you're from England, there's a ton of people that are JL-283 from England. I've got my male line ancestries from Flanders. My specific lineage is called uh, Z-1043. Uh, we think that the distribution of JZ-1043 uh, was probably caused by Roman-mediated migration um, because they are found um, in Italy, in the Balkans, and they're also found in places that the Romans were controlling or near places where they were controlling, where our ancestors may have migrated later. Um, so how can you how can you learn how can you learn more about your specific lineage of JL283, where your ancestor was living? You you can uh, join our research groups. There's a uh, there's a Facebook group, just type J hyphen L283, and uh, you're welcome to join that or uh, if you're a YC customer, you can join my group called 7-Eleven, and I mean the ID is 7-Eleven. Um, this is just so I can see uh, everybody's results. Who it's a public group. I can see everybody's, re but you'll have an anonymous ID. I can see everyone's results uh, from tests, and I can inform you what lineage you are within JL283. If you tested with Family Tree DNA or with uh, like 23andMe or Ancestry DNA. Uh, you can create an account on Family Tree DNA and um, uh, upload your data there. And then uh, there's a, the the project there is called JM241. And uh, if you join that, it's public. I will be able to see your uh, STRs if you've done that, and we can help you figure out which lineage of JL283 you are. Ultimately, to advance our research the most, you would you would do a uh, high resolution Y chromosome test and then have your test analyzed at WIFL. WIFL, this is the WIFL tree. Uh, they have ancient samples here. We're looking at JYP91. This is a, a very rare sibling, one of the two children of JL283 that made it into Europe. This is the child that we know the least about. But the interesting thing that we know about him is this ancient sample that's on the Wifel tree was found in our, in Sardinia dating to 1200 BC. Uh, the Wifel tree has uh, people who have tested from all testing companies together on one research tree that also has the most scientific samples and ancient samples. They've just added a ton of ancient samples for JL283, which really gives our research a shot in the arm. Uh, anyway, now's a really good time to get into research of JL-283 because we're gaining a lot of, uh, of samples, people are testing, and we're, we're learning more from ancient samples that have been found.
Uh, okay, so thanks. And uh, you can ask me questions about on Facebook. I'm happy to help anybody who's JL283 to find out more about how you're related to everybody else, because this is how we advance research. Thanks.